not only is this the final week of the high school football regular season, it's also rivalry week, and there's no bigger rivalry than the Frontier Bowl. Just check out the Harlandale Memorial Stadium. We're standing room only tonight as Harlandale Indians took on the McCollum Cowboys. It was all Harlandale tonight in the first half, already up 27 to nothing in the second quarter when the Indians quarterback, Nicholas Delez, going deep for Steven Ruiz, who was able to get down to the Cowboys' 14-yard line. Then on the very next play, Robert Acuna takes a handoff right up the middle, and he's in to make it 34 to nothing. Harlandale, let's see if the Frontier Bowl has gone final. It has. Harlandale wins 54 to nothing. Over at Southwest Legacy tonight, we found out the Dragons have feelings too. As Southwest is forced to move their game due to wet field conditions against Eagle Pass win. Up 10 to 9, Damian Lopez with the quarterback keeper rolling to the outside, takes contact, but breaks the plane to the goal line for the seven yard touchdown to make it 17 to 9. The Dragons already in the playoffs, but a win tonight and Harlandale win over McCullen. The Indians are in the postseason. And what? Oh, yep, Southwest did them in favor. They beat Eagle Pass win 17 to 15. Now, with the playoff spot secure, the champion Chargers paid a visit to Orm Stadium to take on the Alamo Heights Mules to end the regular season for the both teams start the playoffs. No score in the first quarter. The Mules, Reed Anderson rolls out to his right, decides to keep it himself, is able to score from 21 yards out. But Alamo Heights on the board first, 7 to nothing. The final from Orem Stadium is still in the fourth. Champion has taken the lead, 43-34. Rivalry week continues. Kennedy Rockets hosting the Memorial Minutemen in the Salsa Bowl. We're in the fourth quarter. The Rockets out in front, 26-3, going to add to that lead, starting with their defense. Kennedy's James Butler, and it looks like he's going to bring this all the way back for a pick six, but he gets up in it at the 15-yard line, but not before he picks up a big 41 yards. That sets up this. Devin Salazar takes it right up the middle, makes it 33-3. Kennedy, let's head back to the big game, the coverage scoreboard for the final in the Salsa Bowl. There you see Kennedy with a big win, 33-9 in the fourth. Champion is leading Alamo Heights in a score fest, 43-34. Southwest does everybody a favor here, including Harlandale right there with a win over Eagle Pass win. Harlandale's in the playoffs with a shot out over McCollum, 54 to nothing. Sam Houston Band showing off combat choreography against veterans from Memorial, down 13 to nothing. Now Memorial threatening on the two-yard line, but they fumble the snap. Tay Trayvon Williams is there to pick it up for the Hurricanes, taking over at the six-yard line. Ensuing drive, Austin Ashworth in the shadow of his own end zone steps up, fires off the hands of the defender right into Raymond Citizen Jr. for the completed pass, but he could not score off of it. Veterans of Memorial takes it 13 to nothing. The Lanier Vokes wrapping up their season against the Burbank Bulldogs, who saw their chance of making the playoffs in when Brackenridge won their lightning shortened game last night against Highlands. Bulldogs quarterback Julian Balsodua decides to keep it, starts outside, makes a nice cut back inside for the 10 yard gain. Now Basadua is going to the air and deep to Marcus Bolden for the 23 yard touchdown to give the Bulldogs the 7 0 lead. And the final from Alamo Stadium, Burbank gets a win 14 9. Bulldog fans bundled up for their game against Tolosa Midway tonight. Somerset is leading 21 6. When we arrive, Hunter Hernandez takes a toss, burst right through the middle, carries a pair of defenders 17 yards down to the 7 yard line. Then a few plays later, Daniel Ramos will finish it off with a one yard quarterback keeper to make it 28 6. The final from Bulldog Nation. Somerset with a win, 34-6. Now let's head to Southside. Cardinals are hosting Floresville Tigers in the final regular season game before the playoffs begin. They catch a break right out of the gate. The Tigers punter shanks the kick. It rolls dead at the 26-yard line. And the Cardinals take full advantage of that with a pitch to Perfecto Doria, who finds a gap on the left side, and he's down to the 6-yard line before he's stopped. So Alejandro Escamilla calls his own touchdown on the quarterback keeper. Southside takes the early 7-0 lead. And as a result, let's head back to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final. Southside gets a win, outscoring Floresville 56-21. Somerset over Tolosa Midway out of Corpus Christi, 34-6. The shutout for Veterans Memorial both Sam Houston. They're headed to the playoffs. And Burbank and Lanier, 14-9, the final. Rohawk fans staying warm in the sands, a little slumber party. And when they wake up, they're treated to this. Austin Fobbs off the play action rolls out, and he finds Devin Auden, who has got the angle for the 14-yard touchdown. That made a 13-0 Randolph over Carn City. The final for Mickler Memorial Field, 41-0 Randolph. It's a confetti party for the Apache fans as Antonio is hosting their rival Central Catholic Buttons tonight. We're in the third quarter. The Apaches are leading 7-3, but the Buttons have the ball. Nick Chavez to Jared Tarava. He gets to do the work off the shallow crossing pattern. He's able to fight his way through tackles, pick up a good 25 yards with the effort. Then it's Gibby Garza with a one-yard touchdown run to put Central in front 9-7. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final and more. Central Catholic with the ekes out the win there, 16-14. Shiner St. Paul over St. Gerard. That game, by the way, was played on Thursday. Randolph over Carn City, 41 to nothing. Jordan over Cole, 21 to 8. Our big game coverage road trip has Larry and photographer Eddie Latigo to the south, headed to the southwest with their first stop in Crystal City where the Javelinas face off against the Hondo Owls for the district title. Then it's over to Dilly to see if the Wolves can keep Nixon Smiley winless and finally pulling into Pearsall to see if the Mavericks can stay in the playoff picture against Poteet. With more, let's take you live to the home of the Mavericks in Pearsall. That's where we find our Larry Ramirez. Hi, Larry. 
Hello, Greg, and good evening, everybody. Yeah, Crystal City was the site of a huge football matchup. Tonight, fans packed Havelina Stadium to watch their team make some history by either winning district outright or at the very least grabbing a share of the crown. Bristol City Havelina is hosting the Hondo Owls with the District 14 4 2 title up for grabs. First quarter, third play of the game. Havelina's running back David Patino takes the handoff, hits the hole, and so long defense, 60 yards to the house. Touchdown, Crystal City. Point after was no good, so the Havelina's led 6 0. The Hondo answers right back. Next drive, first attempt from the 46. Jaden Gallardo gets it on the reverse, then throws the ball back to Jackson Pimentel for a gain of 37 yards to the Havelina's 17. Three plays later, the pitch goes to Trey Dickens, and he does the rest. 15 yard touchdown. Point after was good, and Hondo led 7 to 6 with 9.14 to go in the first quarter. Next up, the Nixon Smiley Mustangs at the Dilly Wolves with a little bit of rain coming down in this one. Third quarter action, opening drive for the Wolves. Quarterback Julian Cantu keeps it, and he picks up 13 yards down to the Mustangs' 36 yard line. So now it's third and one from the 27. Moments later, handoff goes to Enrique Garza. He bounces to his right, and he's coming right at you, folks. And just by Fotog Eddie and into the end zone. Now the two point conversion was no good, and the Dilly Wolves led 36 to 6 early third quarter. Last stop, the Pearsall Mavericks hosting the Poteet Aggies. Mavs needing a win to make the postseason. Late fourth quarter, Aggies ball QB Darren Garza throws to Ernest Davila for a 15 yard touchdown. Two point conversion was good, and the Aggies trailed 30 to 26. But the Mavs got the ball back, and they would run out the clock to secure victory. So let's go to that scoreboard for you now. Hondo defeats Crystal City by a final of 31 to 6. But Crystal City does grab a share of the district championship. That's a first for them dating back to 1953. Dilly beats Nixon Smiley 50 to 6. So Dilly advances to the postseason. And right here, Pearsall hangs on to defeat Botite 30 to 26. And the Pearsall Mavericks have advanced to the postseason. And here's some of the team right now, guys. Yeah. Looking to the camera. How excited are you to be going to the postseason? Very excited. <laughs> hey, sim simple answer. I love it. Greg, that's it. Back to you. Short and sweet. I like that. Thanks a lot, Larry. Time now for a fan game where you are fans of us cover one of the big games that are big game coverage tonight. Welcome from the band and cheerleaders of Lavernia. Bears hosting Pleasant and Senior Lance Cruz leading the team out onto the field. But the visiting Eagles strike first. Opening drive, Joel Aravalo takes a handoff, cuts to the outside, gets a block, and he's gone for the 21 yard touchdown. Pleasant and takes the early 7 0 lead. Lavernia answers right back, ensuing drive, Diego Mendoza following his blocks. Nice through the line, bangs into the end zone for the 15 yard touchdown. That got the Bears faithful on their feet. They're tied to 7 0. But Pleasant responds after converting on fourth down. Daniel Valadez runs to daylight right up the middle for the 10 yard touchdown. Eagles retake the lead. 14 to 7 as fan cam departs. Let's go back to the big game coverage scoreboard and see if they can pull that victory out. Lavernia does 24 21. Is Gonzalez over Bernie 35 28. Medina Valley falls to Kerrville Tyvee, so they wrap up the district title 28 21. Final in overtime, Austin Johnson over Seguin 35 28. Is Liberty Hill over Canyon Lake tonight 47 0. Navarro over Bandera 63 to 7. Elsewhere in our final week, St. Joseph falls to Holy Cross 19 0. And a final in overtime, Brentwood Christian over San Antonio Christian 27 21. 